If I had to pinpoint one thing that plagues the board game consuming community at large, it is mofos. I can't be right. It's FOMO. Now, the fear of missing out is not unique only to the board gaming hobby. It permeates every aspect of life. But with the advent of Kickstarter rising like the sun, people can kind of find themselves in a blood rage-like state of mind when they're trying to find every single exclusive that is only offered through Kickstarter. It's gotten to the point where stretch goals are not only expected, but people that back before everybody else are kind of expecting a little certain something something that they can only get on that platform. We're like some kid in 4-H class that helped birth a cow and now that we've done so, we demand that we get all the best milk and best cuts of meat from this thing and leave really just the gristle and the, the hide to everybody else. Right, we're gonna avoid analogies in the future. Right, Kickstarter exclusives. Dinosaur Island was a massive hit last year. It raised a ton of money on Kickstarter and it offered two basic tiers. The first was the retail edition of the game that didn't have all the bells and whistles but it had a ton of stuff packed in. The deluxe edition threw in a whole bunch more stuff including a slap bracelet, multiple different molds for different types of dinosaurs that you could have in your park, uh, extra cards, had a purple die, and it had hefty coins. And all these custom goodies were taken and they were put in a Kickstarter exclusive custom box and everyone that backed that tier was told, this will not be available anywhere else at any point in time. FOMO came and it hit hard. And people had to live with the fact that they had an inferior version of a really great game. While the elite few, such as myself, lived with the fact, and we were on cloud nine, that we were superior to everyone else that didn't back the deluxe edition. And we knew that our superiority was there primarily because of the slap bracelet that was tossed in the box for us. All right, so that was in the past, fast forward to now. Pandasaurus Games is currently running a Kickstarter for the expansion of Dinosaur Island. However, one of the pledge levels includes the extreme edition of the game, uh, the base set, which is essentially the deluxe edition. By renaming the deluxe edition the extreme edition, they technically held up their end of the bargain by not selling the deluxe edition in this second Kickstarter. We got Kickstarter exclu exclusives that were flamboyant, that were over the top, that were ridiculous and awesome, and that were going to be unique and only for us. But then a few months later, they took our exclusives away and they offered them wholesale to the public again. Now this isn't uncommon. Kickstarters often, after the campaign is done, have exclusives that are sold through publisher websites, at conventions, or on the third market. If you're willing to pay enough money, you can get that exclusivity. And there's a number of opinions on this type of tactic. And I'm only gonna talk about the two loudest today. The first and probably the loudest is the group of people that were sold exclusivity and were told that what they were getting was so special that they couldn't get it anywhere else at any other time. They weren't just buying fancy dinosaur toys and slap bracelets. They were buying something that was special, something that couldn't be bought later on. Not for cheap anyway. They were willing to pay a premium to know that they were special. Now this is commonly referred to as fear of other people not missing out on your exclusives, more commonly known as Foopin Mui. And the second group that I want to talk about is one that I more closely align with. I don't relish the thought of finding something that I think is really awesome, really unique, and because I didn't find out about it on day one, I have to miss out on a bunch of really cool material. It's really not uncommon to find a game that you fall madly in love with a year or two after it's released. And after that point, finding some of those Kickstarter ex exclusives on the secondary market becomes, if not impossible, extremely expensive. With the advent of the Kickstarter exclusives, you are punished for not taking out that second mortgage on your home to buy that Batman game. And it's because of that that I am fine with these verbal loopholes. I'm fine with content being offered after the campaign. And I understand why people would be upset about something like that. Because th what they're buying is not a product, they're buying the idea of exclusivity. What I really don't appreciate is when that gets so muddled up with the idea that you're gonna be able to buy it later. I want people to be able to buy the coolest aspects of a game, but even I feel that rush when I'm told to buy it now so you can get all this cool content you get later because I'm never sure what the end result's gonna be. Will this actually be a Kickstarter exclusive or will it open up and be something that I can get later? Let me know your thoughts on this particular subject. How do you feel about Kickstarter exclusives? Are you okay with them being open up later on and not actually being as exclusive as they let on? 